What's going on guys, let's create a simple python script that demonstrates the technique used to create a bank account using database. This will entirely work on integer value, not on the flat value. Let me remind you first that. Uh, now open any text editor. I am using an IntelliJ IDEA ID. Click File, New, and then New Project. Give the project name. And I already have a virtual environment. If you don't have, you can create one. Uh, click on Create. Now uh, we need to add a python file uh, on our project for that right click over project and add python file we need to use a library called pytz python time zone so install it on your project from terminal Now we are going to use a SQLite database to store customer data. So we need to import SQLite. It is already installed. It is already come with a Python uh, standard library. So we don't need to install SQLite separately. We are also going to use a date time module. So uh, import a date time module and pivot is it. Now create a database uh, using a connect method. Now we are going to create a table using the execute method of our DB instance. The table R account to store the customer name and balance. Uh, history to store the transaction amount and the time. And we create one view to store the string representation of the time which is provided by the pytz module which makes easy to work in the local time Now create account class by using the class keyword. And define one static method inside the class. We denote the static method uh, using add the root sign followed by the static method uh, decorators. And uh, we kind of protect or make this non-public by using the underscore sign. This method return the local time of UTC time using the python time zone module now create one constructor that will create name and balance of the customer uh, when this program is executed
first we are going to retrieve if any customer have already their own our system by executing a query Here we use the placeholder and parameter substitution and the substitute value is passed through the tuples. Uh, we check here if there is already that customer if yes print that customer otherwise insert the new customer by executing the insert query against the database And finally showing the balance by invoking the show underscore balance method now we are going to create one method that contain the logic that will calculate either we deposited or withdraw into or from the account you all know static method are called using class name here we are using exception handling because anything can happen in transaction so that if any exception occur we can roll back our transaction in our except clause if uh, exception occur in the try block here also using the placeholder in parameter substitution is you can see we pass value in the tuples and placeholder is represented by the question marks sign Commit means saving in our database. By defining this underscore save underscore update method, the code of deposit and withdraw method will be very little because this method will do the heavy lifting. This deposit method, except integer type and return float type, we set it by defining the type of a method and return type. Amount have to be greater than zero to deposit. Call the say underscore save underscore update method and print the message. And we convert the integer value to float by dividing, uh, dividing the amount by hundred. Do the same on withdraw method. The withdraw condition is if the amount is greater than zero and have to be less than the balance of the account. In the rest is same as the deposit method.
now the sue underscore balance method print the balance If the script is executed as the main, we create an object of our class and call the deposit and withdraw method. run the program oops we got the error fix it and run it again To see the database content, we have own software that is DB Browser for SQLite. Install that software and open it. From the file of that DB Browser for SQLite, open the database and see your database content as I shown you here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see the more interesting upcoming tutorials. Bye bye. Peace out.